You know how LCD games are all usually the same thing? Handheld game, maybe interchangeable screens, blah blah blah. Well, this one's planning on doing things a little differently. This is too big to get in the shot. Um, it says that on the top of the box on this side. This is the computer model game. So, actually, bring the camera up a little bit. There we go. Looks like a, well, it's an ultra-large 7-inch display. Doesn't actually say what game it is, but it wants us to enjoy it nonetheless. Enjoy your game world. It looks like two controllers plugging in the back. It looks like an LCD monitor. Advertising 7 inches. A speaker. Wow, it's got a speaker in it. And pictures of two cords, because there's two of them. And let's flip this around. Oh, there's our games. Optional games. We have Street Fighter, Contra Snowfield Battle. That's a mouthful and a half. And Counter-Strike, because apparently the graphics will look just like that. So, very, very promising, I guess. Function keys, battery installation, warnings, blah, blah, blah. Warning, you shouldn't even play it to begin with. And there's the Sad Onion in his new blue and red color scheme. Well, let's go ahead and take it out of the box. Let's see here. Dun dun dun. And there's nothing else in there. We'll just toss that to the side. This is insane. So we've got our monitor. Uh, game instruction, just the one. <laughs> Master and Slave. Have they ever heard of Player 1 and Player 2? It's always Master and Slave. Whatever. So, let's take a look at this thing. This is the whole console. So, this is apparently Counter-Strike. Um, it takes place in an airplane. Yeah. XY8058. You're just throwing these... You're just picking these numbers out of a hat, really. Master Slave. Um, oh, there's the battery slot. What do the instructions say? Double A's? Oh, I already had batteries in it. Ah, oh, that's fantastic then. Makes it that much easier for me. And, uh, if I remember right, these controller ports didn't quite work right. I don't think it was the controllers. I think it was the master port. I think I ended up, I ended up plugging a controller into the slave for it to actually work. Didn't seem like the master port did anything at all. And this doesn't want to stay up. Um... Hmm, how are we going to do this? Bring the camera up a little bit more. Man, that monitor's showing my face. Um, yeah, that's going to have to work. Not too bad of a picture for you guys anyway. So let's look at the game instruction. Which instruction do we get? Graphic representation. Definition of push button. Game instruction. Street Fighter. Counter-Strike. Alright, that's ours. There are seven levels in the game after powering on. Upside the screen, fading, and flash. And then go player mode. Computers deemed to be the terrorist as default. There are two weapons, including short gun and submachine, submachine gun for chosen. Select revolver by pressing button A. Submachine, press button B. As revolver shooting, there is sound of papa or ta 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 when submachine gun shooting continuously. I swear it says it right there. You can see it for yourself. Um, we can capture in it. We can capture it in adoption of the shielding on right or left to reinforce power in order to stay in battle. At this moment, the enemies have no ability to shoot us. C shoot us by casting smoke shell for blocking our visions. Um. Wow. So keep an ear out for the pat pat or the ta ta ta. I I don't even. Let's just turn it on. So cheery for a terrorist invasion. Um, and I am apparently the Poe. So, that's interesting. Let's go ahead and start. Scratch the edge under my nose, and then we start. Shush. Alright, so we move. What? What? You reset. Why did you reset? I did not ask for that. Try it again. Why are you resetting when I hit the right button? Alright, maybe I'll try the master controller port. See if that works any better. If not, I'll try the other controller. Maybe the controller shorted out or something and it resets it. Start. Well, right isn't resetting it anymore, but I can't move. Or shoot. And I think they just threw a smoke bomb. Urgh! 
Arrgh! I'm getting shot. Yeah, I'm definitely outnumbered here. And this is an airplane. How many terrorists can it possibly hold? Um... Yeah, this is doing nothing. Let me just try the second port again. Let's see. On. Start. Well, yeah, up right is still resetting it. Huh. I thought I remember this working before. Well, let's try the other controller. We'll try it in the master first. We'll try the slave controller in the master port. Start. Can I move yet? Alright, I... wait. Did I shoot? Alright, I'm shooting. Doesn't sound like Papa or ta, ta ta But I can't move. Well, both my guns work. Oh, there's the ta ta, -ta. There we go. Uh, great. So I can shoot, but I can't move. So we're halfway there. Fantastic. Let's try the other port. And if the other port doesn't work, I think that's it for the review. Uh, on. Start. Can I, okay, I can move. Can I shoot? Alright, great. I can move and shoot with this configuration. It's the last possible configuration we tried, and it works. So now I can actually play. So I'm moving back and forth. The controller wire isn't very long, and I'm being careful not to pull it, because I swear this monitor is going to fall forward. So... I don't really see the point in making a 7-inch LCD game, but whatever. Look at me talking. I'm the one who bought the thing. Uh, I think I just lost a life and my heart's refilled. I'm going to use a machine gun, because it sounds cooler. I guess, do I have to give some credit for the machine gun sound effects and the... Arr! Keep shooting. I'm not really sure what's going on. I can't shoot when I'm hiding against the wall. So how do I shoot people that are hanging like on the ceiling and stuff, or just have to wait for them to drop down? Um, yeah, I saw an icon for health up here. I don't know how I get that. Maybe I get it by hugging the wall when it shows up? I'm gonna play it for like another minute and then just give up. Because I'm just totally lost. Uh, was that a bullet traveling on the ceiling? Did that guy just hop out of the overhead bin? Like... Oh, did, did I win? Or am I on level... I'm probably on level 2 now. I, I'm not sure what I did to accomplish that, but... Congrats for me nonetheless, I, I guess? Uh, a... Oh, cool, I just got health, okay. So you do have to hug the wall when it shows up on that side. Um, hmm. Oh, there goes another one coming out of the bin again. More health. Yay. Alright, I honestly think I've had about enough of this. Um, well, it, it definitely gets points for being unique, that's for sure. I mean, what other LCD game can you say that you've seen like this? It, the, from the design of it to the fact that you're amazed that they even did it. Um, yeah, these cores really aren't long, are they? Yeah, sorry, I'm ranting. So, this version of Counter-Strike involves an infinite amount of terrorists coming out of an overhead bin as you shoot them inside the cabin of an airplane. Yep, sounds like a lot, sounds like hours of fun. Too bad the other controller doesn't work, because I'd love to have somebody to play this with. <laughs> that's a lie. Hey, look, there's an AC adapter port. And we'll finish off the video there.